Fish changed the game again. This time with a new student debt cancellation plan that cancels all student debt. That's right, you heard me, all of it. If you refinance your debt, it's canceled. If your parents took out loans on your behalf, they're canceled. Are you yourself a parent with loans? Canceled. Are you on a low income repayment plan? Your debt is canceled. A loan forgiveness plan? Canceled. Go to private college, your debt is canceled. Public college, you too. It's canceled. Do you have grad school debt? That debt is canceled. Trade school debt? Canceled. Consolidated loans? Canceled. Canceled, canceled, canceled. All student debt is canceled. Now, some folks have been asking me, why forgive everyone's debt? Well, universality is the most time-tested way of keeping issues from devolving between a fight between the middle class and the poor, which really is what the 1% wants. Just look at Social Security and Medicare. Two of the most popular programs in this country provide for everyone, regardless of income. And that's exactly why those programs have withstood assault from Republicans and moderate Democrats for decades. All while programs like food stamps, Section 8 housing and welfare, even the ACA, have come under assault. Everyone's grandma benefits from Social Security. So it's hard to pitch it as a program for the quote-unquote undeserving poor. Also, it's important to realize that it's not enough just to have a good idea. You need a plan to implement that policy and to protect it for future generations, long after it's in effect. That's why this campaign prioritizes coalition building. It's not me. It's us. None of us are free until all of us are free. Now, how will we pay for it? And how much will it cost? The plan will cost $1.6 trillion. Now, that's about the same as Trump's tax cut. Bernie thinks it's time that the banks we bailed out help bail out Americans. And that's why Bernie's debt cancellation plan will be paid for with a 0.5% transaction fee on speculative trading. In other words, it's Wall Street who's putting the bill. So, who does this help? Bernie's plan will help 45 million Americans, the overwhelming majority of whom are low-income or middle-class. 80% of all student debt is held by those making less than $127,000 a year. And families making less than $60,000 a year took out 280% more student loan debt than families making over hundred k according to a 2013 study. Now, some people, including Third Way, have been arguing that this plan is a giveaway for the rich. But rich people don't have student debt. Rich people don't need to take out high-interest loans to pay for school. They're rich. <laughs> Think about it. It's important to recognize that this bill goes a long way, in fact, to closing gender and racial disparities. Women hold two-thirds of student loan debt. And black women, we hold more than anyone else, an average of $30,400 by the time we graduate. And that number tends to balloon after graduation, when high interest rates of 6 or 7 or 8% mean that a loan balance can grow by tens of thousands of dollars in just a few short years. My entire generation is stuck. Home ownership rates are down. We're having fewer children, and we can't afford the basic milestones that were met by earlier generations. And it's not because of avocado toast, no matter what the mainstream media will tell you. It's because we're shackled with an average of $30,000 in student debt. Now, what about folks who already paid off their debt? Congratulations, you're debt free. Plus, Bernie's plan doesn't just get rid of student loan debt. It caps interest rates, prevents colleges from raising tuition faster than the rate of inflation, and makes public colleges and universities tuition free. So you'll benefit from lower costs if you ever decide to go back to grad school or if you're supporting a child of your own through college. Moreover, it will help the economy, which helps you too. Tax cuts sometimes don't actually stimulate the economy because they go only to the 1%, who invests in themselves rather than America. But Bernie's College for All plan means that people like you and me will finally be able to buy homes, have kids if we want, and spend our paychecks on consumer goods rather than sending them off to Great Lakes every month. Bernie's plan will create 1.5 million new jobs every year and boost our economy by $1 trillion over the next 10 years. But beyond the ways in which it helps all of us, consider this. Students with disabilities are more likely to default on their student loans. 12 years after starting school, the median black student loan borrower owed more debt than they originally took out, and 21% have defaulted on their loans. 35% of Latino student loan borrowers who started college in 2003-2004 defaulted on their loans. And importantly, if we had canceled all student debt in 2016, we would have shrunk the racial wealth gap between young, white, and black households ages 25 to 40 from 12 to 1 to 5 to 1. And this issue isn't just about kids. 
From 2010 to 2017, the student loan debt held by people aged 60 years and older increased by 161%. That's the largest increase of any age group to a total of $86 billion. 40,000 seniors had their social security checks garnished to pay for student loans in 2015. This is a crisis that extends beyond race, age, gender, or ability. But it's one that we can tackle together.